why I brought the issue or the example of uh, the Bicotony project, or the airport project, is because I believe no matter how terrible that project is, something has been off the ground. Today, there are airlines parking their planes. Bicotony is collecting, you know, the parking fees, you know, and what have you. And then there are advertisers, you know, companies are advertising in that. And then there is a decent parking lot. A lot of things are functioning. Yes. Maybe, maybe not perfect. Maybe yeah. not decent enough. Maybe it's, it doesn't, but, it's, but, but, but at least have, it's not 100%, started, yeah. but at we, least you're saying I'm that sure it's functional. I, I, I'm sure you give them 65, 70%. Yes, you give you them know, a pass so, mark. So as opposed to the challenges the, the Lekki concessioning scheme is having, you know, there is a, a near success factor. Or success example with the bicotony. Oh no, d definitely. Project. I mean, you now, have to. They've now, completed I, and they're up and running and they're functional. There's yeah. no question. But this other project here. No, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. You see, it is it is rather sad, and very sad, that every now and then, beautiful project, are uh, you know brought down, largely by side talks what I call be apologies, shenanigans. Yes, you know, I'm not privileged to know who are the owners of the Lekki Concession, you know, uh, company. However, however, a lot of people allude to the fact that one of the ex-governors of Lagos State is a shareholder. Let's, let's well, call a spade a spade. Allegations. Not, not, no, yeah, this, no, I don't, this is allega allegation. That's an allegation. Yes, that's just an allegation. You know, but over and above that, was there or is there a road that was constructed? The, question, the answer is yes. How much did the owners of the plots of land in Lekki paid when they were given? What was the payment? If you remember, if you remember where and how Lekki area was 20 years ago, you know that there was sand filling. You know that roads were tied no, no, indoors. No, no, no. So see, if somebody um, paid a Shribe, small amount Shribe, of money Shribe, and then these, now these are not Shribe, I don't want to I don't want we're we're losing track on this here because I don't want that's a different entity entirely. Yeah. And I think that we what we're saying is the fact that we're talking about infrastructure. Yeah. And how critical infrastructure is to manufacturing. And we lack a lot of infrastructure in this country and it you see, by the time you take this topic, then it's going to explode. And the the issue of Lekki is a different issue of land and Lagos State allocations and who has paid. And you will get the views. A lot of people have paid a lot of money. And, uh, you know, so they're, and they're very, very angry about this thing. So it's just a question of them resolving it. But what I'm saying is the fact that if you're going to do something, see it through and to be able, because a lot of countries, before you do these things, you have public hearings, you have public sittings, people are consulted, stakeholders are, are, are brought into it, all these views are taken into consideration. But when you do something and then you start it and after a sudden all these issues start coming up, then you, you, you surround a project with controversy and that's why it becomes bare pallor talk. But if you've done something with transparency and accountability, then there are no issues. And this is not, this is not news to any part of the world. So. What I'm saying, like I said, is that the Nigerian factor is something that we cannot dismiss. And that is why, as you have said, um, we're not able to manufacture. But let's move from that. And we know that the infrastructure, that's a separate topic entirely. So I think we should try and move back in to say, well, what we're trying to say is that can these PPPs help to resolve the infrastructure challenges we have? Because, you know, if that, and I think that's really with the points that I want to see. Because if you take a look at, we've talked about three. All these three projects are in Lagos. Okay, why haven't they been done anywhere else? You see, you see, Cleo, why, why, why I took some time to address that is because I think we need to look at these issues a little bit pragmatically. What do I mean? As at the time, some of these concessionings were done. The Infrastructure Concession Commission bill was not passed. It didn't even become an act. 
now we that that bill was passed it was assented to by the former president and it is now an act and there is an infrastructure concession commission with an office with everything now all those mistakes that took place in these two concessions that we are looking at are no longer going to be so there we're any saying longer. that we've, Just, we've put the cart before the horse yeah which is which is rather sad but at least we we are making amend as far as that is concerned now Sorry, i would when love you to say see, we who is we I mean Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah, because government is you and I. Government is those in government and those of okay. us outside. So I, I thought maybe there was an interest that you might. No, be. no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> not, 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 not at all. And then, and then I would love to see a situation where the ICRC, that is the infrastructure infrastructure concession commission, regulatory commission, moving faster than it is moving right now. More of these roads should be concession. More of rail tracks should be concession. More of airports. More of so many of these infrastructural facilities needs to be concession to private sectors so that they can provide these services and the economy can can be oil. Your insight in manufacturing, having had banking, has been quite uh, a revelation for us. I would like to thank you very much for coming on the program and like you to introduce your final song. Thank you very much, and the pleasure is mine. My final song is Kenny Rogers' Gambler. Whatever business you're in, have a profitable week. I'm Tilewa Adebajo. This has been Business Week.